Hey everybody, welcome back to Poke Park 2 Wonders Beyond. I'm your host, DioGenZ, playing as Tepig before, but now we're gonna switch it up into Snivy and explore the rest of the Crag area. Yeah, that's right, this is the Crag area. I know, I temporarily forgot and thought this was the Arctic Zone. Let's see if we can deliver this snowball to Delibird. And. Ah, oh, no! I thought it would work like Pharaoh Seed when we could throw it so we could walk faster. Oh, well, treasure. Yeah, it's hard to believe this is actually the Crag Zone. Yeah, it's interesting how in this game, there might not be as many doorways, per se, to walk through. But a lot of the areas are kind of compounded onto each other, and that makes for longer level exploration. I could probably spend, eh, I don't know, maybe two episodes in, you know, just expanding and finding our pal pad in each area by doing all these mini side quests like taking photos and collecting items. So, you know, I'm for the interest of brevity and just doing a uh, let's play, I am going... No, actually, we do have enough. I thought everyone danced. That was bullshit. Damn! See, this is why I don't do collection inside things. It just takes my burrs for no reason. I don't understand how all my members are happier. But if you're just playing this game on your own, not recording, you definitely would have a lot to do. You could do a lot of backtracking in this game, which is pretty nice for a Pokemon game. You know, I do a lot of backtracking when it comes to Metroid games, especially the Prime series. But as far as Pokemon, I don't know, it's... Well, I guess unless you consider effort value training a backtracking sort of thing, but that's kind of different. But, I mean, it's... You, know, you go back to old areas. And my suspicions were right about this Vanellite. He was burning up in the hot springs. There, at least he didn't explode like the snowball. That would have been horrible. Vanillite has perished. You fail. Ah! I hope that snowball comes back, because I would like Delibird on my pal pad. He gives out lots of presents. Some of which are explosive, but hey, keeps Christmas interesting. Well, either this could be the new Pokemon game that I asked Santa for, or... <laughs> Combustible Christmas tree. Ah, uh, it's always fun to involve the fire department. It would be hard, though, because people would all be surrounded out in the streets getting in the fireman's way if uh, it was Christmas, because usually they do, at least in Jersey, they do the Santas going on the fire trucks. So, if they're trying to get to an accident where Della Birds leave an explosive presence under people's trees, they couldn't. People would block their way, thinking, Oh, where's Santa? Where's Santa? So they'd have to turn the hose and do hydro pump on all the people. Anyway, that's what happens when you have Delibird as your friend. So I want that snowball to come back. Uh, ooh. A bowl door that looks to be sleeping. I'm not sure how to get the uh, Muna to go to sleep. I don't know where all the, I all the items are. And I'm not really going to find them. If somebody has a better way of keeping track of what items we have so far, leave a comment below. And I figured this guy, being a rock Pokemon, would react very similarly to how Brock's Pokemon did in the Sprinkler episode, one of the first couple of episodes of the Pokemon series. Rock types dislike water very much, and it's a good way to wake them. I don't know what he's doing there. Is that a Harden or what? Maybe he's trying to... Oh! Self-destruct! It doesn't appear to take any damage away from him, though. That's cheap. Don't you know self-destruct or explosion, whatever you're trying to pull off there, bold or is supposed to take health from you? Well, that's just fine. You're about as slow as a rotten bag of potatoes. So, I don't really have to worry. You're not going to catch me with self-destruct. Shellblade! That's so swift and awesome. Oshawott 
is the best. It's really kind of a toss-up as a tie when it comes to my favorite 5th gen starters. I like Oshawott. It's so adorable. It's a water type. I love water types. Oh, throw! And Sock. I bet they want a battle. But uh, Oshawott, such an adorable little otter. An otter. A samurai. A so ugh, samurai otter. Samurai. <laughs> Eventually. Let's see if we could take these two on. No, he seems busy. How about you? Do you want to fight? Oh, yeah. Battle time! But I also like Snivy. Snivy is a pretty awesome last evolution grass with su Superior. I like the Dream World Superior. Oh, man, I'm going to have to do an EV training set on that for sure. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a toss-up. I like snakes very much. And I thought Snivy was a cool grass evolution. But Oshawott's adorable. And a samurai! You know what? They just they both pwn. So there. They can both maintain first. And Tepig can be second, because it's not like I don't like Tepig. He's just not Te favorite. Alright, so we're gonna have to take on this duo from the fifth gen. Throw and sock. This is this. He's very disappointed. These guys look like Muppets to me. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? These are very strange looking fighting types. But, eh, I guess you could say Machop looks a little weird too. And Machoke. Ugh. When I was first playing through Crystal, my very first run, I remember this because this was a frustration for me in fighting type evolutions. I had a Machop that I traded at the Goldenrod City um, big marketplace. Traded some guy in Abra. I got it, taught it all the punches, got up to a Machoke. I realized it was a girl, so that in itself is strange. A giant man lady looking Machoke because I don't really notice much of a difference. Ah, this tag team is tough. Whoa. Whoa, the throw. Chop! Oh my goodness. Use your self-destruct! Oh, come on. We just need to... D... Ah! It took one more Thunderbolt! And freaking cats, man. Freaking cats. Ah, but it took one more Thunderbolt. Damn! But I always... I got it up to level 78. And I'm like, why is this thing not evolving? I was still a poke noob back then. And I didn't really know that there was such a thing as trading to evolve. I had the same thing with my Haunter. I got it up to level 57. And I was like, what the... Why is this not evolving? You know, I thought maybe Machamp evolves at level 100. You know, because it's got such amazing fighting type abilities with four arms. Ah, he got me with the rocks before I even could get close. Arr! have to watch out for his chopping. Charging up his punch? Is this his one hit KO death punch? Ah, just about. Well, let it be known in this episode, either I really suck, which is entirely possible, I've been doing stupid things this entire walkthrough, or, ah! Poke Park 2 has gained considerable increases in difficulty as far as keeping you entertained with Pokemon that you can befriend. See, that was my big major complaint with the original Poke Park was for me, it was a little too easy. A little too easy. I didn't really go and play much of the post game, maybe that would have been tough, but the initial game that you go through didn't really challenge me. So it's nice to see that in the sequel they've really upped the ante, so to speak, and the battles have gotten a lot better. Again, I love this central camera ring-styled matching. It always keeps the Pokemon you need to see in the frame. Oh, damn, we really can't get up close to do too much Iron Tail damage. And the frickin' throw throws me with his chops. EXPLODE! Oh, that didn't even do nearly enough damage. 
So that is good to see. Within the main game, you can make friends that really send your skills for a test. Whoa. Get away. Thunderbolt. Oh, we need one more. Come on. Come on. Whew. That was awesome, guys. I'm really digging this sequel. I'd say this gets higher scores than whatever I scored Poke Park as. I gotta go back and watch the end finale of that facing Mew and all that. But yes, I need to see how I rated that game if I ever gave it a rating. Because whatever it is, this one is a far better game. But if you're just Pokemaniacs in general, I recommend renting the first original Poke Park, Pikachu's Adventure or watching the LP that I have a playlist on on my channel. So you can get a feel for why Pikachu is familiar with Poke Park and why Piplup is such good friends with us. It's a fun adventure in itself. I'm just saying it takes way too short of a time to beat it. It's not really worth a buy. It's worth a rent, worth a rent. But uh, this one is much better. If you had a choice between the two, go for this one. It's a lot f more fun to switch up your Pokemon, have Snivy, Oshawott, and Tepig, and Pikachu all at your side, all at your control. It's great to do 3D battles. I love the new platforming missions that you go through. It's a good game, and they have adorable loading screens. How can you not love that? Pokemon not looking at you, turning your back turning their back, I should say, on your leadership. That's actually a sad picture. <laughs> so let's see in the main area of the Crag Zone what's going on. Do we have any Pokemon that will finally verse us? We've done a lot since the first time we've come across this area. Like Bastiodon. Remember, he just was asking us at the first point of our mission here, what's the episode... Or, what's the episode? What's the password? Wow. <laughs> what's the password? And now, in order to befriend him, we're gonna take him on in a behemoth battle of steel and electric. Oh man, he rushes fast for a steel type. He may be hefty. But that means his damage is, ooh, dire. You have to dodge. Whoa, he does massive headbutts too. Yeah, we have to dodge. We're in ever hopes to thunderbolt him, make him a lightning rod, and win. I like Bastiodon. I like it because it reminds me of a Triceratops. Oh, you're done. Yeah, so I saw some comments on the last episode Victini was in. Some people did not get a hold of Victini. Once I get my Wi-Fi back, I'm going to have to see about doing a Victini giveaway. Coming up on 4,000 subs faster than you know it, with Planet Poke doing successful. And I'm thinking of doing a 4,000 subs montage along with a Pokemon giveaway. Awesome. Usually I gave away Arceus, but this year, since it's 5th gen, I'll see about collecting a bunch of legitimate Victinis and dispersing them amongst my subscribers. As a way of saying, hey thanks guys, I really appreciate all the likes, all the comments, all the feedback. And playing games, recording them, is a lot more fun when you guys watch along. So, that's what I like to do. And, Metapod, how can we befriend you? Do you have a photo? Of Superior? Ugh, you're a creep. And I don't. And I'm not gonna get it. I don't want creepy Metapods on my team. Alright guys, that was the Crag area. Thanks for watching, I'm Z. I will see you in the next episode.